All right, guys, we've been out for a long time, but we just got in all the OG, this is living hoodies and t-shirts. So we got the white hoodie, the black hoodie, the white t-shirt, and the black t-shirt are all in stock now. So click the link in the bio, head to the website, check it out. Thanks, you guys. I'm gonna get back into the Mexico video right now. You're helping buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, get a shot of this thing. See? It's a crazy poison. spider. Jack, get a close up on that. I'm so scared of spiders. Here, give me the camera. Jack, touch it. Get closer, dude. I'm It's close. not gonna jump. Well, f that thing. Here, give me the camera. I'm so close on it, dude. You're shaking. Yeah, because I'm scared of spiders. What the f is that thing? That's a demon. That thing looks fucked yeah. up. Bro, get, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, get a shot oh, of him. Look how thick its web is. Anybody wanna have some? Oh, <laughs> I thought something was on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I keep thinking something's crawling on me now. Are you gonna shake the bar? Bro. Spidey senses. That thing is scary, dude. Where do you go up top? Scared. Anyway, for a way to start the morning, massive neon green spider. Welcome back to This Is Living, you guys. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, we're still in Mexico. Day, I don't even know, day 15 or day four. Feels like it's been like three weeks, but we're back down here checking this one secret wave. Yeah, we're either gonna go here. The sun's just coming up. We woke up pretty early. And we're either gonna surf out here or go back to Barra the way we've been surfing this whole time. So we're on the last two days of our trip and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. We're just still scoring really, really epic waves with friends. It's nice. It's a surf trip that's like more relaxing than surf trips, most surf trips I'm used to. It's just like perfect fun, smaller, rippable waves instead of just like big, gnarly, huge cloud break or Tahiti or like Jaws or Mavericks. So it's kind of nice. It's a nice change. It almost feels like a vacation. Fun. The spider's got me all freaked out. I keep thinking someone's crawling. Dude, I know. <laughs> Did you get it? I got a hair in my mouth. Oh, it's a spider web. Dude, that spider's web was so, it was sick. so sick. Oh, that web was sick. Bro, there is some creatures in Mexico. Poisonous animals are here. Spiders, snakes, chupacabras. Is that a thing? Chupacabra, they're real? Beaver looking. They're not beavers, but they're like big and fat, like a huge gerbil, I think. <laughs> they attack people? The chupacabra. Unless I'm getting the name mixed up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a, like a mythical goat. <laughs> yeah, a chupacabra is not a, no. There's an animal. I'm no expert. It's a similar name. No, chupacabra. Yeah. No, you've never seen <laughs> I've seen a chupacabra. <laughs> I have a video of it somewhere. Really? What if one just ran out of the bushes? <laughs> Dog-sized spiders just start running out of the bushes right here. What are you doing? Should well, you our friends went into those bushes. Sometimes we're sitting right here. We have YouTube. We have no service, but we have YouTube. Are chupacabras real? Leave another comment. Oh, they survived the spider forest. They did. No good? Dude, it's like the direction. The direction's probably perfect at Barra. Barra's like 10 feet, barreling off the rock, two big turns, 
into a barreling inside sandbar, just groping. That's where we're gonna go, right now. Careful with your jinxing. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it is pumping. It's like eight foot bara, roping right point break. We're gonna be down here all day. Today's the day, the biggest day. All right, we're on. We're gonna head out for the first session. It's gonna be a long day of surfing here. It's gonna be a good day. How crazy is this place? You get in the shade and you still feel like you're in the sun. Now I'm before. So gnarly. I feel like the sun is directly on me right now. What a day. Does anyone know what time it is? It's 11 a.m. It's 1.40. <laughs> I thought it was like four o'clock. We have so much time left to surf. That session was really fun. I started off a little wonky and wobbly. The boys were ripping, but I kind of started to pull it together a little bit. It was a little, Funk of funkiness going through it, and then it started to clean up and get really nice and fun. Or I just started to wake up a little bit, put some turns and waves together. But dude, we have today, the rest of today. Sun doesn't go down till eight o'clock, which honestly I don't even know if I want to stay here for that long. But 
that's an option. And then tomorrow, we have all day as well, but who knows how it's gonna be. Whoa, I just got so lightheaded. That was heavy. Just thinking about tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was not right. And then we leave the next day in the morning. So we got one more full day. We got the rest of today, one more full day, and then we leave at 10.40 a.m. Dude, throw and this in your water. Celsius heat packets. 300 milligrams of caffeine in this right here. One of these packets. Eli. The Celsius plug. I don't know what I should do if I should try this board. This epoxy 510 shadow. See how it goes? Because I haven't used it this trip. See how it works out here? Because I've been using the 6-0 next step round pin. Feels pretty good, but I don't know. I think I just am so exhausted. I'm not used to surfing like this. It's been, we've been in the water so much and just down here is just a different level of heat and exhaustion. And there's really no way you can train for this kind of surfing. It's like you surf a long wave, your legs are burning by the end of it, almost every wave, and then you're either paddling back out and your shoulders are getting blown or you get on the beach and then you're walking or jogging all the way back to the point to paddle out. So it just becomes very exhausting on the body, but fun. I'm not complaining. Crazy. No one think I'm complaining right now. I'm having a great time with my friends. But yeah. That's, that's it until we go out for our next session. Try to stay cool, drink a lot of water. It's about 104 degrees down here. My third mango today. Mexican power bars. And the waves are still pumping. We'll get out there in a second. You always double insulate. Dams. Condoms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Crowd died out a little bit. Looks really fun. Go out for one more session and then call it. It's hot down here. Exhausting. Just get so drained just even sitting here in the shade. Gnarly, but the waves look really fun. It's still a little wonky, but good for practice. Practice some turns, some backside turns for me. Everyone's getting pretty sharp surfing, it looks like. And so it, uh, it's fun, it's big. There's some big sets out the back. It, it seems like the big ones aren't really the best ones. I'd say the more medium, smaller ones right now are actually the better ones. They hit the sand a bit better than the big ones. The big ones are like a little too far out to see and very like fat or like lumpy kind of when the littler ones hit the sandbar a little more perfect and you're like have a better bowl and you like try to hit it. So, boys are on, we're gonna go back out. It's gonna be fun. You're live. Yeah. Nate and Zord are using our old camera. That thing's ancient. That thing went through four years of hell. Ancient technology. Dude, what a great day of surfing. That was so much fun. Towards the end, I was just like too beat and sunburnt to even think about going back out. So I just, I had to call it. I'm done. I'm not surfing till dark. I'm going up, I'm gonna send the AC of the car. And then we're gonna make our drive back to Watuga. Like, I need tons and tons and tons of protein. 
All I've had today is fruit and a bread sandwich. <laughs> Just bread with a little bit of chicken in it. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know what we're doing, if we're staying or what. But anyway, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Great trip to Mexico so far. And it could continue, it could end. So stay tuned. We'll be back for more every Wednesday.